Yeah, yeah, please. Namaskaram, Sadhguru. I'm here. Where are you? Uh, the other side. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My name is um, Eloise, and I'm from Belgium. Mm -hmm. uh, so my question is, um, how do we get people to care about soil when they're so, so busy with other things, uh, such as careers and other ambitions in life? So <laughs> how do we do this? <laughs> Thank you. Where is the time? Uh, they even I have been asking for some extra time because I always felt that twenty-four hours were never enough for me. I've been petitioning for a long time to get one four hours extra per day, but not been sanctioned till now. <clears throat> so that is when I stopped shaving and I got every day twenty minutes extra <laughs> So, uh, this uh, nearly two thousand people who are here, you must become earth buddies. What earth buddy means is, you invest ten to fifteen minutes a day and in your hands, you have a smartphone or a dumb phone, what do you have? <laughs> huh? All of you have smartphones. So if you are calling something smart, it must be smarter than you. Hey, you call somebody smart only if they're smarter than us, isn't it? <laughs> so if you have such a smartphone, don't waste your time just sending silly messages on that one. You can also do that little bit, that's your life. But at least ten, fifteen minutes a day if you invest, I'm telling you just these two thousand people can move those three to four billion people I'm talking about because what you have in your hand is a powerhouse. Never before in the history of humanity was there ever a possibility that we could sit here and talk to the world, never before. So when there is a technology like this, when there is a means like this in your hands, you saying, I don't have time to even twiddle my thumbs, what is that? So that means you don't realize the seriousness of the situation we are facing. Let us not be that generation which walks into your calamity and then grieves over it. Unfortunately, too many generations have done that in terms of famines, in terms of wars, in terms of other kinds of disasters that human beings have caused to themselves. Let us not be that generation which falls over into your disaster and then cries over it. Let us be that generation which turn back from the brink of a disaster. Let us be that generation. The disadvantage is nobody will know that you actually fixed the problem because you fixed it before it happened. This is what you should be. Hello? Everybody is telling me, Sadhguru, let's go to the schools. All the children, we must wake them up, we must make them angry, fight. No. Children till they are fifteen years of age, let them grow up without any concern about anything. Let them eat well, play well, learn well. Let them grow up without concern. This is most important. Infusing… In, injecting… injecting poisons of anger and hatred and resentment into a child's mind is a very horrible thing to do because how a child processes these emotions is very different from how an adult would and their entire life could get poisoned because of this. So let children grow up. I am saying we must fix the world in such a way, children never realized they were on the brink of something. Isn't this the way any responsible parent does their life? Hello? So, do I have an earth buddy in you? Where's that girl? Only one? Hello? See, I'm… I'm addressing the COP15 uh, in the month of May. One hundred and seventy nations are to be represented there. 
with their… either their agriculture ministers or environment ministers and a few probably heads of state. If you have over three billion people saying something about soil in some social media, we know how to aggregate these numbers. If we have that number, we have a solid case to give confidence to the governments to take the needed steps because you must understand in a democracy, governments are not elected to do something fantastic. They are elected to uh, fulfill people's mandate. I am asking you, in which nation on this planet has it happened? Sixty percent of the population has stood up and said, we are concerned about long-term well-being of our nation, of our biodiversity, of our children's lives. We are concerned. In which nation have they expressed this? Only in some tea party or maybe in a group of concerned people in a conference or wherever they're talking. Where has sixty percent of the people stood up? That's all I'm asking you. Get sixty percent of the world's population, sixty percent of the adult population to say something about soil in the next hundred days. We will see how to get the policy done.